Stammer. Yeah. 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 No, I, I totally, oh, totally open. understand, Adam. It's been a repeated theme throughout the day. Are the Lions that ex-girlfriend you can't get over? In so many ways, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know? In so many ways, yes. Detroit chili is dog food, this guy. All right, here's some of the feedback. Skyline chili is spaghetti sauce. It's gross. There you go. As a former resident of Dayton, Skyline blows. Mm. Skyline is absolutely disgusting. Even blacked out drunk walking home from the bar in Oxford, Ohio. It tastes like throw up. (laughs) By the way, one of the things I enjoy is when you call vomit throw up. (laughs) Like the act is throwing up. That's the the verb that's going on, throwing up. But when you actually call the result throw up. Yeah. I secretly love that. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. I don't think it's a secret anymore. No, no, no I just let the cat out of the bag. Um, Things Gator loves using vomit as throw up. <laughs> Scott in a car, Skyline Chili is like eating regurgitated Alpo. It's nasty, nasty stuff. Alpo is dog food, by the way, just in case people want to know. Uh, Cincinnati mm. Chili is half cooked spaghetti, noodles in it. Lived in Cincinnati for a year, laughed at everyone when they told me their chili was good. It's horrible. Wouldn't recommend that to my dog, Lafayette, all day. <sighs> See, now we're doing the same thing, though. We're insulting. Right, but we I know. Had, yeah. But we know. We know the difference. Skyline chili is actually trash, though. It tastes like secondhand chili to, that someone already digested. <laughs> <laughs> This is bizarre. I visit like Cincinnati. human centipede stuff there, huh? <laughs> mm. I visit Cincinnati at least once a month, and Skyline is absolute garbage. It's basically hot dog with chili on it in a frozen bag that they thaw in microwave. Look, if you're going to get a Coney dog, Detroit's where you go for Coney dogs. Mm-hmm. If you want to get a bowl of chili apparently not and Skyline. spill it over, I got some spaghetti, which is what they, it's all the rage in Cincinnati. And feed it to your dog? <laughs> feed it to your dog. <laughs> then you I go guess to that's Skyline. What, that's what you do. <laughs> I like regular chili. Regular chili's fine. If they want to think that Skyline's great, regular chili, fine. But you know what? Coney Islands, you serve the, the chili on the, on the dog, and the Skyline chili doesn't work on a dog because it's got beans and... Parts of Alpo, apparently. Brian writes in, I tried that Skyline chili one time on my way home from Cincinnati. I got sick. An hour later, I tossed it up and down all the way on 75. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh. He had a reversal. The throw up. Yeah. Sorry. I had the tossing. It meant something <laughs> else for a second, which is I've odd been, to do that on 75. I've been to Skyline chili in Ohio. It is nasty. They put cinnamon in it. to fur- No further debate needed. Yeah, there is cinnamon in the chili. Uh, there's pe- cinnamon, there's cloves, there's allspice, there's baker's chocolate. <laughs> all, all people from Cincinnati love Skyline Chili Dogs, and they are garbage. They grow up down there hearing how great it is, so they start to believe it. It's like the Twilight Zone. <laughs> it's, wow. really, it's really good. This this got ugly. You know, the funny thing is, if I went to Cincinnati, I'd be more than willing to try the Skyline Chili on top of the spaghetti noodles. I've seen that served like that, and I think it's kind of a cool idea. I've actually done that with leftover chili I've had. Pick up some pasta, and there you go. Sounds great. But that stuff on a hot dog, it's nasty. No it's, bueno. It's been well established by Metro Detroiters. Good God. All right, you ready for this? All right. It's time for another another edition of Warning Gator Graphic. Warning. The following segment contains graphic language as Gator watches a graphic injury. Listener discretion is advised. Okay, are you ready? You've got the video. Tell me when you have the video right. up. It's on I'm our ready. webpage. I'm ready. Go to KarshanAnderson.com. Uh, explain to the people what you're looking at right now. Right now, it's a still photo of a video of is this larry the cable guy Larry the cable guy yes in an arm wrestling competition with some other guy and they're going left-handed yep so uh it is a arm wrestling competition larry the cable guy and some other guy and go ahead and hit play wrestling <laughs> the arm wrestling it's really bad <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh the video stopped That's not right. What is that? Oh. Yeah. Uh, the hell was that? He broke his arm. 
He broke his arm. All right, this is a first. Larry okay. the Cable Guy broke the other guy's arm. This is a first. I'm going back to rewatch it because I'm not sure what the hell I saw. Really? This well, is it first. breaks at the elbow. I get that. So it's not your normal. I think when you watch it, when I was watching the first time, I expected a snap at the forearm. But he. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a good look at the elbow that time? Yeah. <laughs> ah, sorry, I'm looking at a whole lot of. I couldn't say a whole lot. It was more of a visual with me. Yeah. But if you're watching this on Facebook Live, you got your shot. You can always <laughs> check it out after the show too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about a third time? <laughs> you're gonna watch it again? Why not? Let me just just double check this thing out here. Wow. I just. Well, because the problem is, I'm watching it on on this this website, and it kind of jumps a mm-hmm. little bit. I can't believe you're going back for more. <laughs> Let's see him going. Come on, man. You got this. It's Larry the Cable Guy. How can you not beat Larry the Cable Guy? He didn't. Well, you don't because you... Oh, Wait. there it is. <laughs> the dude's like, ah, ah, oh, oh, I think I, I think something happened here. I think, I don't know what happened. I, I... <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. If you want to see it for yourself, you can go to KarshanAnderson.com. If I bet it today at 138.